بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو ورچوئل لرننگ کلاس آئی ہوپ یو آر فائن دس از یور ففتھ لیکچر آف اسلامک اسٹڈیز ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس دا تھرڈ لیسن آف یونٹ ٹو اور یونٹ ٹو کال ورشپ عبادہ اور پریویس لیسن واز دا ایکسیلنس آف دی ہارٹ we discuss in that lesson the excellence of jihad jihad is one of the best deeds jihad is better than voluntary salah the benefits of jihad good guarding for a shaheed Today we will start the lesson 3. Lesson 3, the name is Jihad and Peace. In this class, students, we are going to learn the following important concepts. about jihad nature of jihad peaceful non muslims proper method of preaching islam islamic principles of war when is jihad enjoined upon muslims behavior of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam after battle of Ohad, going on to the next. First of all, we will discuss the nature of jihad. War is not an objective of Islam, nor is it the normal course of life. It is only last resort which is entered into under extreme circumstances when all peaceful measures fail islam is a religion of peace its name means peace one of allah's names is peace the daily greetings of muslims and angels is peace paradise is the home of peace peace is the nature the meaning and the objective of islam every being is entitled to enjoy the peace of islam and the kindness of peaceful muslims regardless of religious geographical or racial considerations so long as there is no aggression against islam or its adherents adherents mean islam or its uh, believers like muslims going on to the next topic our next topic is peaceful non muslims if non muslims are peaceful towards muslims or neutral towards islam there is no justification to fight them there is no there is no such thing as a religious war to force non muslims to embrace islam to embrace islam to accept the islam we should we cannot force the non muslims by force that they should accept the islam because if faith does not emerge from deep conviction it is not acceptable to allah if there is any religion if there is any religion or constitution that guarantees peaceful freedom of religion and forbids compulsion to accept religion it is islam the quran affirms la ikraha la ikra there is no there shall be no compulsion 
be deen in religion there shall be no compulsion to accept the religion kat tabayyana indeed tabayyana come become clear rushdu the right course minal waji from error faman so whoever yakfur disbelieves refuse bitawti in the oath wayomin wayomim and believes billahi in allah faqad istamsaka has grasped the bilarutul uska the most trustworthy hand hold lan fi sama that never breaks wallahu and allah samiun and allah is all hearing alim and alimun and all knowing coming on to the next point proper method of preaching islam in the propagation of islam a muslim is not only forbidden to use pressure in the spread of islam a muslim is not only forbidden to use pressure but is commanded to employ the most possible methods most peaceful ways allah commands udu ila sabili udu invite ila sabili to the way rabbika to the way of your lord bil hikmati with wisdom wal muizati and instruction al hasanati and good instruction waja dilhum and argue with them billati hiya ahsanu billati in a way hiya ahsanu that is best in a good way inna indeed rabbaka your lord huwa alamu he is most knowing he knows about all everything biman of who dalla have uh, dalla strayed ansabili he from from his path who strayed who wandered from his path mean from the path of allah wa huwa and and he alamu and he is most knowing bil muhtadin who is rightly guided who is in the right path under islamic rule the relationship between people is based on peace and justice if a nation insist on aggression against another the threat the threatened nation must prepare to ward off that aggression if it fails to do so it is only encouraging the aggression and making it easier moving forward to the next point islamic principles of war following are the islamic principles of war number 1 the muslims will not be cruel number 2 they will not be oppressive 3 they will be just with the enemies number 4 they will treat the captives in a good way well they will not kill women children and elder people but they will show tolerance to them they will show, show tolerance to them mean they will show tolerance towards conquered people are islamic principles or obligations going on to the next point no students we are going to watch the video about jihad jihad in the news is often translated to mean holy war but holy and war are both english words with latin origins so it probably doesn't mean exactly that according to google translate the individual words exist separately in arabic so what is jihad 
Does it refer to a set of conflicts, like how the Crusades refer to a set of Christian holy wars? Nope, it does not. So why do they need the extra word jihad to describe a holy war? Does it even mean holy war at all? Well, the short answer is no. What jihad really means is struggle. It's a major religious duty that many consider to be the unofficial sixth pillar of Islam, right below self-control, giving to the poor, and visiting Mecca. Technically, jihad means a struggle in the way of Allah. Fringe radical militant groups think that attacking the West is part of that struggle, but the majority of Muslims don't. Most of them are actually opposed to using the word jihad in that way because it associates the word with terrorism. So what does jihad mean to them? Well, in Islam, there are two types of jihad, the outer and the inner. The outer is the kind that defends Islam against outside aggression, like they did in the Crusades. The inner represents the internal spiritual struggle to seek self-improvement in the way of Allah. So basically, it's the struggle to be a better Muslim, both spiritually and in practice. The following passage, which is from a highly debated Islamic text called the Hadith, sums it up pretty nicely. In it, Muhammad says to a band of returning warriors who have come from the lesser jihad to the greater jihad, the striving of a servant of Allah against his own desires. So despite the negative attention it gets, jihad can refer to some really wonderful things. There's even a website called myjihad.org that highlights good jihads, and it's part of an entire online movement devoted to taking the word back from Islamic extremists. Even Twitter has gotten in on it with a hashtag myjihad, where people tweet about their good deeds or positive struggle to help better themselves and their communities. Like, my jihad is to balance work and family life. My jihad is to challenge society norms and work towards improving our culture. My jihad is to keep the air in my country clean. And finally, my jihad is trying to appreciate the jihad in a place where the jihad is misunderstood. So see, it's really not a scary word as you might think. It doesn't mean holy war, and if that hashtag is any indication, it has the power to change the world. This be another test tube episode. Going on to the next point, students. Our next point is, when is jihad enjoined upon the Muslims? Jihad is enjoined upon Muslims for the, accept, for the acceptance of Allah and not for purposes of evil or aggression. War should continue to be governed by those, by these, humane and merciful principles until it has ended by either a truce or a victory. Hadith Sunan Ibn Majah narrated Amar bin Abasa, I came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and said, O Messenger of Allah, if jihad is best, he said, that of a man whose blood is shed and whose horse is felt. There is another hadith narrated by Jabir bin Abdullah. A detachment of, of warriors came to the messenger of Allah. I mean, a group of warriors came to the Prophet and said, and Messenger and he said, You have reached that which is best, having come from the lesser jihad to the greater jihad. They said, What is the greater jihad? He said, To strive against one's evil inclinations. Students, our next point is behavior of Prophet after the Battle of Uhud. When the Muslims were defeated at Uhud and enemies surrounded the Prophet and sought to kill him, his companions defended him to the death. He emerged from the battlefield, wounded, his tooth broken, his face cut, two rings of chain mail had penetrated his cheek. 
some of his companions said to him why why do you not supplicate against them o messenger of allah he told them i was sent to to curse rather i was not sent to curse rather i was sent as a mercy these are the words of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam who did not wait for out of desire to shed blood but only to ensure the continuation of allah's religion allah says in the quran so fight for muhammad in the cause of allah you are not held responsible except for yourself and encourage the believers to join you that perhaps allah will restrain might of those who disbelieve students our lesson is finished now now we will discuss the exercise of this lesson first of all we will discuss the multiple choice questions blank is the main object in islam options a destruction killing peace the correct correct option is peace let us see number 2 blank is the home of peace options paradise hellfire religion letter a paradise is the home of peace is the correct number 3 the daily greeting of muslims and angels is blank what is the correct option letter c peace the daily greetings of muslims and angels is peace number 4 islam guarantees the freedom of blank speech thoughts a religion letter c religion number 5 muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was sent as a blank to mankind king mercy or guide correct option is letter b as a mercy number 6 during battle muslims are not allowed to be blank merciful soft or cruel letter c is the correct option muslims are not allowed to be cruel number 7 one of blank name is peace plus prophets angels letter a first one allah's one of allah's name is peace eight peace means blank peace means salam kitab thirst letter a peace means salam number 9 muslims are blank muslims are cruel terrorist or peaceful letter c muslims are peaceful number 10 blank is the religion of peace Buddhism, Islam, Hinduism. Correct option is letter B. Islam is the religion of peace.
Now, students, we are going to discuss the questions and answers of this lesson. Jihad and peace. Question number one is: What is the nature of Islam? Islam is the religion of peace. Its name means peace. One of Allah's name is peace. The daily greetings of Muslims and angels is peace. Paradise is the home of peace. Peace is the nature of Islam. So, if non-Muslims will be peaceful towards Islam, and Muslims, then the Muslims will also be peaceful towards them, towards the non-Muslims. Now we are going to do the question number two. Question number two is: How does Islam guarantee freedom of religion? Mention an ayah in support of your view. Answer number two is: Islam is the only religion which guarantees freedom of religion and forbids compulsion in acceptance of. It. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, there shall be no compulsion in religion, in acceptance of religion. Number three, question number three. What is the proper method of preaching Islam? Mention an ayah in support of your view. Answer, answer number three. A Muslim will invite to the way of Allah with wisdom and decent manners. He will not use pressure or other sorts of tactics to convert people to Islam against their will. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, invite to the way of your Lord with wisdom and good instruction. And argue with them in a way that is best. Indeed, your Lord is most knowing of who have strayed from his path, and he is most knowing of who is rightly guided. Now we are going to do the question number four. What are the Islamic principles of war? Answer following are the Islamic principles of war. Number one, the Muslims will not be cruel, they will not be oppressive. Number three, they will be just with the enemies. Next number, they will treat the captives well. Next one, they will not kill women, children, and elder people, but they will show tolerance to them. The last question of this lesson, question 5. How did Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam behave after the battle of Uhud? The Muslims were defeated at first in the battle of Uhud. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam got severe wounds. A companion asked him, Why do you not supplicate against them? O Messenger of Allah, he is Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I was not sent to curse, rather I was sent as a mercy. Thanks students for watching and paying attention. Our this lesson is finished. Our this unit is also finished. Our unit two was the about the jihad. We did three lessons in unit three. In sorry, in unit two we did the three lessons. All the three lessons were about the jihad, the meaning of jihad and its nature. After that, we did the excellence of jihad, and today we did the jihad and peace so our unit 2 about the jihad is finished now so students you have to go through the lesson thoroughly 
and try to memorize the exercise answers okay so i will i will see you in your next lecture till then take care bye bye